I have to unlock it from the back. And that's how I get in. Miles on the chassis. It's usually open diff, so usually one of these two marks would be disappeared. Having this car from start to present and building it on the way, I've never had the thought that crossed my mind of really thinking the things I actually hate about this car, or more so dislike it, but mainly like it. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys 10 things I personally dislike about my Lexus GS300. So let's get into it. All right, we're going to kick it off with number 10. The thing I don't like about this car is honestly the dents and the rust spots. Well. I get it, it's a 20 year old car or well now, 21 year old car and it's been daily driven and it's not garage kept whatsoever because I don't have a garage, but it was already kind of like this when I bought it, but I just really don't like dents or scratches on the car, but it doesn't look bad for the miles or the age of the car actually and how it was treated. So that's just one of the things I just don't really like about this car. It would look so much cleaner if it didn't have a lot of dents on the side. It's actually not that much, but it just bothers me every time I kind of look at it because I'm like, damn, this thing could look a little bit better. But that's number 10. We're going to just simply unlock the car. Try to get in the back. Why is it not letting me in? Hold up. Yeah, so... My two rear door actuators went out. So every time I get in the car now, I have to unlock it from the back. And that's how I get in or just unlock the back. So these went out a few months ago, but as these cars age, they have some door actuator problems. I guess that's a common issue with Toyotas and Lexus, but I just like using all my doors. But that's gotta be one of the other things I don't like about this car. I'll be the first person to tell you guys this from the heart, but one of the other things I do not like about my car is the fact that it's open diff. I already don't do a lot of hood shit in my car, like slide it around and do burnouts, but you know, it just gives it a lot more, I guess, cool factor, at least personally to me, if it were LSD or just had a lock diff throughout both of the tires, both of the rear tires, both of the rear wheels. And whenever I do a burnout sometimes, sometimes the two rear, you know, spin its wheels together but sometimes it's just a one wheel peel and it makes it hard to kind of slide on dry pavement. Now, even though it didn't do it here, it's usually open diff. So usually one of these two marks would be disappeared but i got lucky this time the next thing i don't like about this car is overall driving experience when it comes to the steering wheel now it's already a body car but i'm talking about you know the actual connection to the car which is the steering wheel see the steering wheel feed i get it it's high mileage but it's really unsatisfying at this part right here this hole that's why i mainly just hold it from this side or at the bottom but then you have this fading going on here and this one is just completely like almost pristine. So it makes it kind of unsatisfying and I hate having OCD, but that's probably another thing. I also don't like about my car is the steering wheel fade. I don't like it, but it ain't that bad though. I just dislike it. So that's gotta be nice. While we're in here, I might as well talk about this as well. Miles on the chassis. Now, it doesn't bother me too much because I already know that this thing already had high mileage when I bought it. And I don't really care for it, but it's just kind of like, ah, like whenever I see that number, it's like, damn, it's getting old. But it's still a bulletproof car and it has no rust on it. So I ain't really complaining, but that's also one of the things I low key do not like about my car is the amount of miles I have specifically on the chassis of the car now i hate to say this one because it is somewhat my fault but i just don't like my car being in the road 
But another thing I dislike about my GS300 is my curved wheels. Now, although this isn't all that bad, and thankfully enough, it isn't all that bad, it's still like, I scratched up the chrome, I scratched up my own wheels, like, damn. It's just not a good feeling, you know? But I don't like being in the road, so sometimes I, I'll say overcalculate or miscalculate, and I scratch up my own rims, and that is my fault. But it's not all that bad. I can always just sand it and just get it replaced, not replaced. I can get it repaired on my own or have someone help me. So that's another thing I do not like about my car is the fact that it has curved rims. And for any other setup I do, I would not like to have any other scratches or anything like that on this car. Goddamn, this gonna hurt. Well, so a long time ago, about a year or so ago, I got a muffler delete from my car nice right well this was before top mufflers and any other exhaust shop this is the first one i went to though and i got a muffler delete but they burned my carpet and they put two holes in my trunk and i got the check eventually and i should have gotten more i should have really sued them because i could have literally had my car burned to the ground because i opened up my trunk and this was on fire and everything you see here well just at least this was replaced i got this from a junkyard eventually or from another gs junkyard gs whatever but yeah i i had the muffler delete but at the price of having two holes in my trunk because someone didn't know how to weld them right so that's another thing i dislike about that now a thing i often don't talk about is this is another thing i do not like about my build and it's also had a lot of regret from when I first started putting all this together since October when it comes to the body, but it'll just have to be a piece by piece body kit, or you could say lip kit. This is generally what I would want my GS to look like, probably permanently, but the only thing that is wrong with it is the fact that it's a piece by piece. I didn't really know much about materials or what stuff to really use so that's why a lot of the stuff kind of looks I, not really janky you could say janky but like unfinished it still looks good though personally to me and i mean it seems like you guys like it too but i just don't really like the fact that the rear lip is a piece by piece and you can see the screws i don't like how my side skirts also are piece by piece i don't really like how my lip is piece by piece either but this is kind of valid because I mean, it's just like a little, little wing, but like the bottom, nah, I got to get the full, full piece right there, bro. And especially when it comes to the side skirt, I only got these, like I said, because they fit with the front and rear. But as soon as I find some different ones that actually fit all around that are one piece, I'm definitely going to switch those parts I just described out with those. Number two, I'm going to count this as an honorable mention as well. It's cracked windshield. Boom. Boom, doesn't really bother me as much, but it still is kind of, eh, I don't really like it. Why haven't I slammed my car yet? I don't know why. Hey bro, I think you're missing a muffler. No, I ain't missing no muffler, goddammit. I only have a single exit. I gotta get the other port for the lift. Yeah, that bumper gotta get fixed, bro. It gotta get fixed soon. Damn dog, I'm sorry to report, but it seems like you gotta scratch the window. Now the last thing I say I dislike about my GS is the five-speed auto. Don't get it twisted. I really do like this automatic. It's actually not that bad of a transmission. The only problem is when you're getting on hideaway speeds, like if you're going over 60 or 65, it starts to get a little noisy in here. things i dislike about my lexus gs 300 the most from what i could think of from the top of my head now overall i love this car as you guys know and some of the things i just listed are just some of the things that just kind of get in the way but can be fixed super simple so it's not like it's permanent but i really like how this thing is put together with the help of my friends to get this car to where it's at now and especially appreciate you guys for watching the video stay tuned for the next one and until then have a great rest of your day 
and take care of your life. Have a good one. Peace.